everyone, I'm Ralda. I'm a postgraduate student in UCL. I'm studying software systems engineering. As you can see, I'm a Muslim and every year we have this very special month called Ramadan, which is a month of um, fasting, of course, and then prayer, reflection, and community. Um, Ramadan teaches us to practice self-discipline, um, self-control, and then sacrifice, and also um, empathy for those who are less fortunate. However, this year Ramadan is quite challenging for me. Why? First, because I'm an international student, which means this is my first Ramadan outside my home country, Indonesia. I used to only fast for 14 hours, and now I have to fast for two more hours, so 16 yeah, approximately 16 hours of fasting. Second, this year I have to put more effort to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or God. And fasting, of course. And then studying for my exam. Or maybe even do my exam. All of them at the same time. But alhamdulillah, um, I got a lot of supports and advices from sisters from Islamic Society in UCL about how to, how to balance them all. I came up with this list of Ramadan goals um, and every day I would try to I would try my best to um, do all of them since I like to design my own phone wallpaper this Ramadan I want this list to be my phone wallpaper and so far Alhamdulillah I could say that this Ramadan is my most productive Ramadan ever and this is how it goes we start our day in Ramadan with eating sahur like a breakfast early in the morning we've been doing this since young so alhamdulillah waking up this early is not difficult but this ramadan i have to prepare and cook my own breakfast unlike previous years when everything is ready the moment i wake up okay i only have 30 minutes to eat before azan for fajr prayer but I managed to finish all my food, alhamdulillah. Now the fast is officially started. Right after I prayed for Fajr, I read morning remembrance or supplication. This is something I've been doing even before Ramadan. It is an action that is mentioned in the Quran, Surah 2, verse 152, when Allah said, So remember me, I will remember you, be thankful to me and never ungrateful. Remember, one of my Ramadan goals is to finish Quran. After finished reading the remembrance, I read 9 pages of the Quran. The month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed to the Islamic prophet Muhammad wasallam. During Ramadan, our righteous predecessors would put aside their book of knowledge and put more focus on the Quran. This does not mean at all that we don't engage with something else like studying for exam. So it's important for me to allocate times for both religious practices and my obligations as a student. It's 6.30 now and I'm all ready to go to UCL Student Center. Thank you.
just finished printing my problem sets for my exercise. After studying, I decided to take a walk around UCL. In spring, mashallah, we get to see flowers and greens. Walking around campus reminds me of the world's first ever university, the University of Al Qarabiyin, that was founded by a Muslim woman. The university started by Fatima bint Muhammad al Fihriya al Qurashiya as a large mosque and later grew into a place of education. Thanks to this special woman in the story of Morocco, the University of Akarawiyin has been contributing to science and education for ages so far. I'm getting emotional <laughs> seeing particles stand so lonely. May Allah heal the world of the pandemic. Thought postgraduate only lasts for a year, and now it's our third term already. Um, so sad <laughs> we didn't have a chance to study in campus. Stopped by grocery store to grab some things. I only got 4 hours of sleep last night, <laughs> let's make up for the remaining 3 hours. Just prayed for Asr, now it's time to prepare for iftar and dinner. Let's try this Korean dish tteokbokki. So I've got tteokbokki, halal chicken nuggets, chocolate covered almond <laughs> filled dates, blackberry juice and water. It is at this time that you are truly humbled and we believe that the prayer you make with this humbleness in your heart is more likely to be answered. Alhamdulillah, the Maghrib Adhan just called. Let's break our fast with Bismillah, dates, and water. I'm watching Dr. Omar Sulaiman's this year Ramadan series while eating dinner. I just finished my last prayer of the day. Let's sleep early so that I can make it to Sahur tomorrow. Many thanks for your interest and maybe use this time to purify our hearts and gain closeness to Allah.